I've not done a West Ham transfer news and rumours video for quite some time now, and because of that, the old news and the rumours have built up quite significantly. So that's what this video is about. There'll be another upload later on, late afternoon, early evening, something like that. Yesterday in a community post, we asked you to give us some silly questions so we can have a little bit of fun. There'll be a video of myself and Gio answering the first batch of questions on Sunday. Since then, you've carried on asking us questions, giving us video ideas. It would be rude to ask you, then not use the ideas, so there'll be another upload later on this evening, so stay tuned for that. There's a lot of stories. Let's start with the fallback ones because there are a lot of fallback rumours at the moment. It's quite funny, actually, because when you get to sort of transfer window type time, and I, and I guess we are, we're, but by the time football returns, Premier League football, the transfer window will be upon us. Normally, it's quite scattergun. But the fact that we're being linked with fullbacks is either really clever journalism from people that watch the games, knowing that we're quite weak in that area, or there's some truth in it. The one thing I would say about transfer rumours in the last, I don't know, couple of seasons, they've turned out to be relatively accurate. And that's because we have been bidding and looking at lots of players. And not everything is a lie. Sometimes the agents come out and, and they link that they leak the news. And I don't think it's any different. The uh, first one I just want to touch on is Aaron Wambasaka. Really like this player, and I think he would improve West Ham no end. Heard rumours that 10 million Man United may be, a, may be willing to let him go for 10 million. I mean, well, that, that's a steal. Uh, he, look, he's not the all-round player, the all-encompassing player that does uh, defends as well as he attacks and stuff like that, but he is an exceptional defender, and he ain't bad going forward. By the way, that noise, that was a squeaky chair. Just, all right, that's a squeaky chair. That's not what it might sound like. I just want to make that uh, really clear now. I like Aaron Wambasaka. I certainly like Aaron Wambasaka at 10 million. We've got to get somebody in. Whether it's Moyes in charge or anybody else in charge, we are very, very weak at fullback. And there are numerous links with lots of fullbacks. Um, we've got, well, first of all, before we get to that, it, one of the news stories is that Craig Dawson is set to move in January. No big surprise there, but I, I think the one thing that you would say about that is, Gio mentioned it the other day, maybe his options are going to be more limited. Now, it was possibly an option for him to go to Wolves. Are they going to be interested now? Um, new new management, maybe the new management just not interested in Dawson there, um, but it looks like he's off anyway, so not a lot we can do there. Uh, right, OK, we, we are fighting it out, apparently, with Arsenal and Chelsea for a player called Noah Okafor. Noah Okafor. Yeah, that is, uh, you say it. Um, he plays right back for Salzburg and apparently very, very highly rated this player. And he's one of a few. Now, this is the type of guy that, that would interest, I guess if he's good, he's going to interest anyone, but David Moyes. David Moyes doesn't mind young players, quite likes young players, but if they've got experience, he wants them to have experience. This guy's played 100 times uh, for Salzburg um, and he's scored 34 goals. And he's played 20 assists. And when I looked here, I thought, well, hold on a second. Is this a fullback? That's a fullback. Score 34 goals. Basically, like one in every three games, he scores a goal. Can this be right? I've got to question it. I, I'm not sure that that's the case. Sounds... <laughs> There's some strikers who can't score one in three. Let's get that absolutely right. Um, a stretch, a winger. A fullback, 34 goals, 20 assists. He sounds like... <laughs> It's like the best fullback in the world to me. Uh, maybe that's reflected in the price, uh, about 35 million uh, euros, they reckon, on that one. He's not the only fullback we're interested in, though. Here's one for you. Rafael Guerrero, uh, Borussia Dortmund left back. Apparently, we're very, very interested um, in him. He's not been, not been playing that much. Uh, uh, the other age... Um, well, the other end of the spectrum in terms of age, basically. He's played 56 uh, caps of Portugal. There's been lots of people that know this player, aware of this player. He's 28 years of age. Um, he's actually been at Dortmund for quite a while, but he's, he's never quite nailed down the, the guaranteed starting spot for him. So he's been there fair old while, played a couple of hundred times for them. But there are so many rumours about players we, we're looking to bring in. Um, Yosef and Nesri, remember him, the Sevilla striker played against us last season. You remember, um, pretty good in the air. Uh, and, well, he was very good in the first leg, I, I thought. Um, you know, some quite dominant performances there without massively threatening. And obviously, um, you know, we, we swatted them aside quite easily in the end, didn't we, Sevilla? So, uh, 
I don't know. I'll tell you what is weird about this one. I've got to say, you wouldn't put a Nestri and Skamaka together in the same team. When there's times when I've said I would quite like to see Skamaka playing in a two up front, not alongside another target, man. You want the you want somebody who offers something a bit different, a little bit more tricky. It's well. You've only got to look with um, Rasmadori, who plays uh, for, for Italy and also was uh, played with Skamaka at club level. Um, that sort of thing, a little bit, little bit different, just two different type players. I think they would be too similar. Not sure I believe that. In fact, I don't believe it at all. Um, before I go any further, today's offer, offer number day 10 of our 12 days of Hammers Chat Christmas today's offer and I don't actually have them here to show you well because they're in the Hammers Chat shop what they are is 20% off Canning Town Len unsigned prints these things are fantastic it's not just a print of a print Canning Town Len uh, is well he's a fantastically amazingly talented painter he's painted portraits of players uh, portraits uh, paintings um, in, in, all, in all paint all paintings, basically, of very, very famous West Ham scenes. Uh, there's prints of those which are on hammerschatstore.com. Go and check it out. As soon as you add them to your basket, you get 25% off. Stay tuned, though, for tomorrow's. Uh, I've got to say, tomorrow's offer is, is pretty damn special. But, uh, well, I think we haven't done bad with the offers. Been two or three things we've given away for free as well. Although, I did get told off for that because we do ask for uh, we do ask you to pay postage when we give something away for free. Uh, anyway. Um, there's there's rumours about uh, more rumours about Harrison Ashby leaving. Um, no surprise there really is there. Um, Mark Noble has been, uh, been given the freedom of London, which is um, well, freedom of the city. It hasn't been given London. It's um, it's 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 a very very old Guildhall award basically. If you know you know, it's an honour. I'm sure Mark Noble will be very very honoured by that. What else is going on? OK, we've been linked. Another fullback. We've been linked with Jordi Alba. Remember him? Uh, Barcelona player. Been linked with him again. I say again, I haven't been linked to him before, but he's, a, he's another one. The, the Kurt Zuma. There's a Kurt Zuma rumour. We, we, well, we like a Kurt Zuma rumour, unless it's a bad one. And this is not a bad one. They're thinking that he has serious, in, serious long-term repercussions with his injury. Uh, no one's going to be surprised at this. He, he seems to always be on the cusp of breaking down, does Kurt Zuma. And I, I think this is this is a real worry. He never looks 100% fit. I've, I, I worry just by the way he moves around. And I think he plays for injury quite a lot. I, I think basically we have purchased for £30 million an injury-prone player. Who, and, and the, but the difference is with him, the difference between him and Maxwell Cornet is Zuma's quite happy to be patched up. Even if he's not 100% fit, he'll play. And I think that's, that's testament to his, what's his desire to play, um, his love for football and whatnot. Um, Corne, um, I'm trying hard not to pass too much comment on it, but, but uh, it's, it's thus far it's been a disastrous transfer. That, that's for sure. What I want us to do, I know we've been linked with all these fullbacks, I want us to go and replace Maxwell Corne. I'm not saying sell Corne or whatever, actually replace him. At the moment, he's, he's bloody useless to us because he is offering no help at all and we need help. This, there's been times when, let's be fair, Jared Bowen's deserved to be dropped and needed to be dropped this season. Um, we went and bought a winger uh, who can play right side, can play central and can play left side. Spent £17 million on him. And he's, he's not had any massive big injury, but he's out because of lack of fitness. Not quite sharp, a little knock, a little niggle here or there. It's not... Uh, I'm, I'm not impressed. Let's uh, let's put it this way. Um, really interesting article I read actually, and from Fabrizio Romano, who obviously been on Hammers Chat a few times. He was talking about just how Barcelona, Tottenham, West Ham were all in for Luis Diaz, but eventually went to Liverpool. We we heard we were in for him. We knew we were interested in him. It, it's just really really interesting to to hear that from another perspective. I think that's very. Um, very, very good. There's another rumour about Mark Noble would be interim manager if David Moyes uh, got a sack. Um, lots of people talking about Declan Rice ahead of the World Cup. We discussed him yesterday. Um, by the way, can I just say, if you haven't seen Gio's interview with Anton Ferdinand, who we are delighted is joining Hammers Chat to do a weekly show with us over on our Patreon channel. If you haven't seen it, go and check it out now. Um, on the Hammers Chat main channel, a, a wonderful interview with Anton um, and Gio, where he's just so candid, speaks so honestly, um, 
it's, I, I would defy anyone to, to watch and listen to that inter interview and, and not absolutely love Anton Ferdinand. I think he's, he's brilliant. And we are absolutely delighted uh, to welcome him to Hammers Chat. It's a massive thing. I'm, I'm buzzing about it. Um, we all are, absolutely. We've been linked with um, Club Bruges forward Noah Lang. There, there are so many, probably one of the most interesting ones, um, which is another another fullback as well, which I mean, you, you'll all you'll all know. I mean, we've we've been looking to sign um, a fullback. Just just so many. So it's it's actually um, Isaiah Jones, Izzy Jones, um, who was at Middlesbrough. He's he's not well. Apparently, Michael Carrick's changed formation, and he's not as involved um, as he might have been. So um, there you go. I mean, there's so much of it. There's so many rumours. I could go on and on and on. I'm not going to do that because I'm uploading later on today with some of your silly questions. So, yeah, if you, if you find yourself with a spare 15 minutes later on, you fancy a little bit of a giggle, a little bit of a laugh, it's not to be taken seriously, uh, do join me uh, later on on this channel. And um, myself and Gio will be... Don't, we'll, we, we'll be doing, just so as you know, we're doing what we normally do, which is build up and a review uh, to a game um, that we normally do for the West Ham games over on the main channel. We're doing it for the England games. Uh, we've got, and we've got a preview for that England game over on the main channel coming up later on today.